Chapter 16 Promises to God's Workers Workers for Christ are never to think, much less to speak, of failure in their work. The Lord Jesus is our efficiency in all things. His Spirit is to be our inspiration. And as we place ourselves in His hands to be channels of light, our means of doing good will never be exhausted. We may draw upon His fullness and receive of that grace which has no limit. The worker for God needs strong faith. Appearances may seem forbidding, but in the darkest hour there is light beyond. The strength of those who in faith love and serve God will be renewed day by day. Those who consecrate themselves to God and who have the protection of His grace and the quickening influence of His Spirit will manifest keener intellectual power than the mere worldling. They will be able to reach the highest, noblest exercise of every faculty. God's workers need faith in God. He is not unmindful of their labors. He values their work. Divine agencies are appointed to cooperate with those who are laborers together with God. When we think that God will not do as He has said, and that He has no time to notice His workers, we dishonor our Maker. If you give yourself to God's service, He who has all power in heaven and earth will provide for your needs. If we were left to ourselves to plan, we should make mistakes. Our prejudices, our weaknesses, our self-deceptions, and our ignorances would be manifest in many ways. But the work is the Lord's, the cause is His. He never leaves His workmen without divine directions. Jesus feels every pang of sorrow felt by those who are consecrated to His service and who under great difficulties are doing His work. Let us dwell upon the love of Jesus that we may have courage and faith. The Lord lives and reigns. There will be unwise advisers who will try to confuse us, but let us look to Jesus and trust in Him at all times. He has been our helper, and He will continue to be our helper. God does not ask us to do in our own strength the work before us. He has provided divine assistance for all the emergencies to which our human resources are unequal. He gives the Holy Spirit to help in every strait, to strengthen our hope and assurance, to illuminate our minds and purify our hearts. There is no limit to the usefulness of the one who, putting self aside, makes room for the working of the Holy Spirit upon his heart and lives a life wholly consecrated to God. In reviewing our past history, having traveled over every step of advance to our present standing, I can say, Praise God! As I see what God has wrought, I am filled with astonishment and with confidence in Christ as leader. We have nothing to fear for the future, except as we shall forget the way the Lord has led us. In the great closing work we shall meet with perplexities that we know not how to deal with. But let us not forget that the three great powers of heaven are working, that a divine hand is on the wheel and that God will bring His promises to pass. He will gather from the world a people who will serve Him in righteousness. God is the great master worker, and by His providence He prepares the way for His work to be accomplished. He provides opportunities, opens up lines of influence and channels of working. If His people are watching the indications of His providence and stand ready to cooperate with Him, they will see a great work accomplished. If we surrender our lives to His service, we can never be placed in a position for which God has not made provision. Jesus has opened up all the divine fullness of His inexpressible love, and He declares to you, We are laborers together with God. Let the worker for Christ remember that he is not to labor in his own strength. Let him lay hold of the throne of God with faith in his power to save. Let him wrestle with God in prayer, and then work with all the facilities God has given him. The Holy Spirit is provided as his efficiency, 
Ministering angels will be by his side to impress hearts. Let every true, honest-hearted worker be encouraged to work on, keeping in view the fact that everyone will be rewarded as his works have been.